Okay, so here we are. <clears throat> uh, got the neck post. You can see what I've done with the torso and how everything kind of works together, like similar to the old, uh, the old muscle body. Now I just use the standard bungee cord on this that I got like Hobby Lobby. So it has a pretty decent amount of elasticity. I mean, you can find a better bungee cord material probably, which is, has a little better tension rating. Um, but this works well enough for what I'm doing. And if I ever have to redo it, it obviously it won't be very hard to uh, to redo him. So, But this is the torso completed. And uh, I will show you how the legs work. Um, let me bust this knee apart. Obviously, if you've ever put a, a muscle body... or took it apart, you know how it works, so. So there you go. So I would uh, glue that together. A little glitch there, sorry. So there you go. I would put that together put the knee in the joint and uh, that's a, a completed leg and this is muscle body's almost done so I, I got to do the other leg so I'll pause the video and finish him up uh, and then I'll come back and we'll talk about this uh, this talking commander that I'm working on okay guys we're back so here is the completed air adventure figure uh, turned out pretty good actually the elastic uh in the waist and everything worked out fine now the only issue that i'm having are the feet are a little bit loose and uh you know i might have to do some adjustment to the grommet for those feet but this this figure here actually had some uh broken portions on him so <clears throat> that might be part of the issue um there's also a chance that i can also take um another just a regular set of old feet and just snap them up in there and replace those feet with just a, a classic style feet so because the pegs are interchangeable but anyways this is a completed air venture that i've done that's a complete restring so that's using my uh my kit uh, where i molded the homemade grommets for the uh hips knees and feet so uh, yeah, I think he turned out pretty well. Um, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not, not too shabby. So we'll set him off to the side here and let's talk about this uh, vintage talking figure. Now, there's a couple things I want to discuss real quick uh, with everybody. Let's uh, grab a couple things here. Okay, first off, a little pro tip for you guys um, that I've kind of figured out. Sometimes if you have a, a muscle body figure and, uh, you know, the hips are a little loose, but the knees and the ankles are tight, there's a really good chance that this rubber uh, ring here has experienced a little bit of a creep. So the elasticity of the ring has started to wear a little bit. Um, so what I have done in the past with, with pretty good success is I will take a uh, piece of styrene tubing snip it down and then slide it over the uh, peg here and what that does is that it gives a little bit of girth to that peg and uh, it provides uh, a little more elasticity where this might have um, lost some over time due to the material degradation so uh, I, I've already tested it with this one and it works really it, it works really fine and it tightened this up quite a bit so um, just something you might think about if you're working on these muscle bodies. Another uh, issue is getting these old um, pegs out here. And I've shown this on some other videos. I take a piece of styrene tubing like this here. Um, I don't know the diameter offhand. I can try to probably figure it out and throw it in the comments section. But I just take it and I slide it down in the tube there and push it really, really tight. And what that tube does is it slides over and compresses this piece together and allows you to pull the uh, the hand out the kung fu grip hand out so um, 
that allows you to take those pegs out and then put the new Kung Fu Grip hands. I do have a set on order from Cotswold uh, replacement Kung Fu Grip hands, but what I'm going to do is just pop a set off another figure. And then I've got the um, talking mechanism ready to go. I went ahead and uh, attached my dog tag to it, and it works pretty well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing put together and get the uh, muscle body repair kit, the hands and everything, and then get this guy um, put back together as well. I just flocked the head this morning, early, early this morning. So it's ready to go. I'll probably let it dry a little more, but we'll put the head on and... Uh, I have a nice late issue talking commander muscle body uniform as well. I just got to get it kind of cleaned up and uh, we will get him done and we will get this uh, air adventure and some clothing and then we'll uh, display these two guys and uh, have a few final thoughts. All right, guys. So here we're back. These are the uh, two completed muscle body figures. I think they turned out both fantastic. Uh, we'll talk about the Air Adventure first. Um, I had a, uh, a late issue jumpsuit. So I decided to put this on him and uh, give him a set of vintage boots. And uh, he turned out really well. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with him. Uh, I think that at some point in time, I'll revisit the knees and ankles. I know I showed you guys the grommets that I made. I like the way they turned out, but I don't like them enough to just keep him the way he is i'll probably revisit those and retool them a little more to make him better but for what i need him to do which is just stand and be displayed he works great um, i'm really excited for the way i uh, i did the restring in the bottom um, like i said i'll retool some stuff but all in all he's a great figure and i hope sometime to uh, maybe display him in the photo story or uh, do something with him but uh, the flocking turned out great. The um, the whole body itself, like I said, turned out great. I just need to modify a few things. So this is the completed muscle body air adventure. Pretty happy to have him in my collection. Now let's move on to this dude right here. So this um, is a late issue muscle body talking commander. And side note story. I was on eBay a week ago going through just auctions like I do before bed and I found a clothing lot um, for like 30 bucks and in that lot as I looked around there was this late issue talking commander muscle body uniform so it's the thinner cloth I've never seen one of these in all the lots I've bought I have some of the older issue uh, muscle body um, commander uniforms and also the Kung Fu Grip Commander uniforms that have the single pocket. But this this thing is in almost mint condition. I cleaned it up a little bit. I didn't have to do any uh, snap repair. I just trimmed some loose threads. And I am super stoked to have this gnarly uniform on this guy. Um, I've seen this uniform on eBay. I'm not going to mention the seller's name, but I'm sure a lot of you guys out there know who it is. But this guy is out of his mind um, with some of the prices he asked for things. Now, granted, a lot of those things are in really good condition and they're rare, but he is clearly delusional with some of the prices. So he had this same uniform and he was asking $159.95 for it. Get out of town. But whatever, man, it's free market economy. So I support his right to do that. But I got lucky and found this one for this guy here. This commander is in great shape. This is probably the best muscle body um, talker that I have. I, I mentioned I have three, but this guy is near mint, and I'm super excited. Um, he says almost all phrases. I'll set down the camera here, and we'll, uh, we'll try to get him to say a few. Let's get him going here. Here we go.
So yeah, for what that talking box, the condition that it was in when I first got it, just for me to get him to say most of those phrases complete is exciting for me. I know he's not exactly perfect, but I think it's pretty dope and pretty gnarly that he's the way he is. So um, I'm just so excited to have this guy. The uniform kind of completes it all for me. So these are these, uh, these two muscle bodies, the most recent ones I've done. I've done a lot of muscle body videos, and I really appreciate everybody watching it. Um, I've reactivated my Facebook account for a little bit because I've got to sell some stuff for my parents on the marketplace. So in the meantime, I've been posting some um, videos to the groups on there that I'm a part of. And I've also activated my Facebook Skunk Works page as well. So I don't know how long I'll have those. Um, but for the meantime, I'm doing them. But I'm still on Instagram. Um, you can find me at skunk underscore work 74. And I appreciate uh, all the comments. Please like and subscribe to this page. I always love it when I get more subscribers. And... Uh, you know, Thanksgiving's around the corner. I'm trying to work on a brand new photo story for the holidays in addition to the Yeti one that I plan on doing hopefully this winter. So um, other than that, guys, I hope everybody's doing great out there and uh, cheers.